All right. Well, thank everyone for uh, tuning in to today's webinar and just a brief introduction on Unified Achievement Group. We're a local recruiting firm unifying great talent with great companies. We take a more personal recruit in recruiting, which sets us above and beyond the other recruiting agencies. So if you are a job seeker looking for a new opportunity or if you're um, you know, a local firm or national firm looking for uh, new talent, great talent, uh, definitely reach out to us at unifiedachievement.com. And for today's guide of the day, we'll be discussing how to deal with job rejection. And let's face it, no one enjoys that Dear John letter or that phone call notifying you of not getting the job. We've all been there. You have the experience. You match all the qualifications. You were prepared for the interview. You answered every question flawlessly, but you were still rejected. What gives, right? Trust me, I've been there myself. But um, I would say don't be discouraged. Instead, have multiple options. Be resilient. Ask for feedback. Reflect on what went well and continue job seeking. And that strategy will definitely help you deal with job rejection in the most productive manner. So tip number one, don't be discouraged. You definitely don't want to be discouraged when you receive a job rejection letter. Instead, focus on opportunities for improvement. Improve on those opportunities and utilize the adjustments with the other options that you pinpointed were your opportunities. If you're seeking to climb the career ladder, there's definitely a possibility that you'll face rejection. So don't let that discourage you. Instead, treat it like a practice session and build on what went wrong. Having a short term memory and a positive attitude when receiving a rejection letter will help produce success. So don't let it get you down. Just accept rejection as an opportunity for improvement. Tip number two is to have multiple options. And in an era where companies are looking to scale and mass hiring is on the rise, the same method should be applied to your job search. While you're on your job hunt, be sure to have at least three to five options. This heightens your chances of success and definitely, definitely allows peace of mind knowing you have options if you do receive a rejection letter from one particular company. Also, leverage recruiting firms. Recruiting firms have access to multiple companies and can easily increase your options without consuming your time researching multiple firms to find the right fit. And it definitely goes without saying, more options increase your chances of success. Knowing you have alternatives after receiving a rejection letter helps maintain that confidence moving forward for your next job interview. And it really does. It definitely does. All right. Tip number three is to be resilient. You want to view each setback as an opportunity for growth. Building off each obstacle will heighten your success for the perfect job. It, it really will. So you want to make sure each time, you know, you do receive a rejection letter that you're being resilient because it's this mindset that's going to be needed in that constantly changing job market that we're in today. So pushing through the challenging obstacles not only helps you land a job, it also prepares you to have success while you're on the job. And this is a trait that translates in all areas of what you're doing and should be continued in order to stay productive and be successful. Keep in mind, everyone gets rejected from a job. It's not exclusive to you.
What matters most is how you build off that rejection. So definitely be resilient. Tip number four, reflect on what went well. Whether it's 10 minutes or an hour, always take the time to reflect on what went well in the job interview. For my analytical folks out there, create a Venn diagram and list the pros, cons, as well as maybes of the interview. That will help improve on upcoming interviews. Try, 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 try your best to focus on the positives and use that to boost morale and confidence moving forward. Because again, you have multiple options. Now, ensure while you are reflecting on what went well, that you're still working on improving the cons so you do land that perfect job you're looking for. So again, reflect on what went well. This is often overlooked because let's face it, when you receive that Dear John email or letter, the first thing you think about is what did you not do right? What did not go well? But make sure you reflect on what went well. I'm sure you may have gotten a compliment on your outfit. So now you know, hey, I dressed the part. You may have gotten a compliment on your work experience, on the way you answered questions, on how early you were, your punctuality. You know, all of that matters. It may have even gone down to the wire as to why you didn't receive the position. So definitely focus on what went well. Take that time to reflect on that. Tip number five, ask for feedback. Feedback is extremely helpful while you're on the job hunt. It allows you to improve on your interview skills for your upcoming interviews. It's difficult to get feedback once you've been rejected, you know, at point of application, or maybe you did a brief phone screening because the recruiter or your hiring manager more than likely hasn't built enough rapport to be able to provide you with any effective feedback or productive feedback. And they can be very busy. And although it may come across as a little rude, they may not um, be able to provide feedback that early in the stage, hiring stage. However, if you made it to the interview stage of that process, your skills and your experience were outstanding enough to grab the attention of the hiring team. So the reason that you were rejected could be a little interesting and you may want to follow up to find out why. I definitely recommend that you follow up and find out why. Now, <clears throat> some reasons could be very simple. Maybe another candidate provided a more detailed response to a role specific question, or maybe um, a candidate was able to demonstrate on the job skills that better fit the needs for that job role. But also keep in mind when you're asking for feedback, reach out to the associate that interviewed you. It's best to email them as opposed to call because a lot of phone calls are ignored. Um, however, if you do shoot over a quick email, you're more than likely to get a response. Um, now, within that response, don't expect the feedback to be super detailed because after all, hiring managers and companies are limited on what they can provide. However, you do want to make sure you're using that information that they do provide you with for any of your upcoming interviews because all feedback is good feedback when it comes to um, job interviews and when it comes to being on the job. But um, for example, if you hear, uh, we went with another candidate was a better fit that was a better fit. Uh, we chose to go in a different direction. Those are key indicators that someone either answered questions better than you or they had more experience than you did. Either way, you know that those two areas need to be improved on and you need to highlight them on your next job interview. Be sure you're leveraging the feedback as best as you can to improve on your future interviews and improve on your job search. Tip number six, you want to keep job seeking. Never, 
ever let job rejection get you down or any rejection for that matter. We want to make sure we're always being productive and keep in mind, this is at the interview stage, post interview stage. You have the skill set, the experience and the drive to climb the career ladder. That's why they called you in for the interview. So there's no reason at all to throw that away just because you received one or even a few Dear John letters. Instead, simply leverage these tips and strategy to hone your skills for the next job interview. Everything in life should be used as a learning lesson. So why should your job search be any different? If you enjoyed today's content, definitely like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all for attending today's webinar. And again, subscribe to our blog for more career advice and information at unifiedachievement.com.